What's up guys? This is Return to Tennis. I'm Aaron. Thanks for returning. This is our follow-up to the Regna 100. We've been hitting the racket now for just over a month. We have played it in drills and point play and we have actually played four matches with it in the last four days. Uh, my initial impressions still hold pretty true. The racket is a phenomenal piece of equipment. It's Power is available when you want it. Control is solid. It has good spin. Uh, it's stable. It's shown itself to be maneuverable. I really love it on ground strokes. I'm serving well with it. Big serves, spin serves, flat, both are great. Um, touch at the net is very solid. I can control the ball pretty well. Um, but you know, does that mean it's the best racket for me? Or does that mean it's the best racket for you? Oh, there we go. I said it had just the power one. I wanted it, and apparently I wanted more right there as I hit two balls into the fence. Uh, not every racket is for everybody, and what is a great fit for me may not be a great fit for you. That being said, I don't think this is the racket I'm gonna stick with, and I'll tell you why. Um, I'm trying to play a certain spec range. I need a 62 RA or lower. I need less than 330 gram weight with the strings. And I need uh, the balance to be at least seven points head light, if not more. The weight of the Regna 100 is good, but it comes in at a 65 RA, which is by no means stiff. That's a pretty mid-level stiffness range. And the balance is only five points head light. I, I needed a little lighter than that on the head. Adding weight in the handle would be counterproductive because then the weight of the racket would be much more than I would want to play. So I don't want to do that to affect the balance. So it's, it's, you know, with a 65 RA and only five points head light, it is not necessarily the best racket for me. Is it the best Yonex racket I've ever hit? just strictly speaking on how it plays. Yes. Is it the best 100 square inch racket I've hit? Again, I'm kind of inclined to say yes it is. Is it the best racket I've hit? Mm, it's quite possibly the best racket I've ever hit. Now, I have heard that the 98 version is better. I have not been able to get my hands on one. Uh, the 98 version still has the same stiffness rating. It's a little heavier but it is a seven point headlight balance on the 98, so I am curious about it. But it is a phenomenal racket to hit. It just feels very different from what you're used to. It has some of that power like the E-Zone has, but not quite as much. It has control like the V-Core Pro. Uh, the 98 version is supposed to be all of that and better. I've heard the closest you can get to the 98 Regna in terms of feel and playability is the new V-Core 95, which is on my list for this year, so we'll see how that goes. But overall, it is a solid racket, even though I'm hitting like absolute butt cheese right now. There, that was a not bad one. And it's kind of windy out there today. I had like a cross wind, so it was blowing from behind me and across the court at the same time. So was throw some of the balls off but yeah guys i really think this is a great racket um it's i've played four matches with it, as i said even though it the next two days after my arm is pretty sore especially through the elbow uh, that's that stiffness rating being at 65 which again isn't high but if you are sensitive in your elbow if you have elbow issues this might not be a great fit for you you probably should go with a, a racket with a lower ra but at the same time, it's it's kind of worth it. Like I'm willing to maybe you know sacrifice a couple of days of discomfort and pain in my elbow just to play it because it hits that well. I know that's probably not the smartest way to look at it, but I mean it is a really nice racket, guys. This is the 2019 model, or no, I'm sorry, yeah, the 2019 is the 2019 model. Uh, it's not the 2022. I heard they're pretty much the same racket. I think the, the only difference with the 22 model is the paint job. I think it's just a paint update. 
Um, hopefully there'll be another version of Strachan that comes out uh, on the next batch that's maybe a little softer RA. I'd like to see it maybe down around a 63 or a 62. We'll see if that happens. I kind of doubt it. But if you have a chance to hit one, you should take it. If you have a chance to get your hands on one to keep, you should take it. Uh, right now, the 98s are the highest in demand. They're going for upwards of $600 on eBay. So I won't be getting one of those. The hundreds are a little more accessible and a little lower price, some usually in the 400 range. Um, but again, that is extremely expensive for a, a frame. But I can see why, you know, the price is that high on this racket. It is an extremely well hitting racket. But that's it for me, guys. I don't think I'll be going forward playing the Regna. I'm going to keep it in the bag. I may pull it out every once in a while because of just how great it feels. Oh, that was a good ball. Right at the camera. Uh, I think I will be shifting back to playing my V-Core 95, my 2018 model. It's a 62 RA. It's a 7-point headlight. and It fits uh, more of the specs that I need. I think that's where I will go back to for now. But I do have some other rackets on, on my radar, uh, some that might surprise you. That, that's what's coming up soon, I hope. We'll see. I um, have a couple of rackets coming from Europe that are not things I'm familiar with. So we're going to get a look at those. Uh, the, v -Core, the new V-Core 95 is on my list for this year. I'm waiting to see what the new Prince Twist Power comes in at. If it has a lower RA, I may grab another one of those because I did really like the old one, but again, the RA was a little high for me. So, But that's all I got for you guys. Um, there's the wind blow. There goes my cover. If you get a chance to hit a Regna, please take it. Uh, it is a great racket. But as I said, if you have a little bit of elbow sensitivity, as nice as it hits, it may not be for you. But until later, guys, may all your returns be for winners, and we will see you again soon.